Hi YouTube family! Welcome back to the kitchen! And I can't wait to be free one day so I can buy a better kitchen! Because I don't like the brown, I miss my white kitchen! I have no idea what we're gonna make today. What? I found some beef ribs and I found some Vermicelli. So I'm thinking maybe we should do like a Vietnamese stroganoff kind of thing. So I was thinking about like, like you know, like these gotta be real tender. So I think we're gonna just slow cook these um, till they fall off the bones and make like a coarse onion, like a, a thick onion brown sauce and eat it with the bone with some lettuce. Cause I, I can't really go to the grocery store that often to buy fresh like greens and shit. So I don't know. Let's just go for it. Let's create something. Okay. So let's season the meat first. Put some Cajun in here so it can be spicy. Some accent. Herbs. Garlic. You know the garlic and the onion powder, they don't have salt, so it doesn't make it salty. What makes it salty is salt. And people will be like, oh my god, food acts is like MSG. Oh my god, we know. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. Korean barbecue marinade. Some oyster sauce. Forensic Files. What have y'all been watching? I've been watching All American. Uh, of course, I watched Legacy. This is one of my favorite. Okay. All right, so I got my oil going. I dropped some garlic in here. Mm. 
Don't forget to purchase your Chop Chop knife. You can get them from my website, along with my t-shirt, www.lovingmimi.com. Sorry about the confusion, you guys. There was a, uh, the free shipping was limited time, so some people who ordered it when it was out, I'm sorry, it was out of time. It was like only certain dates. Okay, so sorry. Ladies and men. We are gonna open up the chicken stop. Look, I'm freestyling as I go, okay? <laughs> the chicken stock. I had to climb on top of the counter. I'm able to pour it in. Alright, we're going to find a top. We're going to close this up. slow cook okay so so far it's been about 35 minutes since I had it on three Close it up. Add some more seasoning. But I got this chili oil. Vietnamese beef noodle soup.
close the top for another 30 minutes. Okay, so I found some tomatoes in the fridge. So we are gonna add this in. Tie my pants. Just cut it in some big chunks. That's a very ugly cut. Oh, and I also found some whole mushrooms, strong mushrooms, and some canned quail eggs. And you know we love quail eggs. So this is similar to my boom ratchet. Boom means noodles in Vietnamese. So I just named it Boom Ratchet because. Oh, so this has been like about an hour now. And I got a pot boiling over there for hot. Mm, good. Mm, that's delicious. Okay, so I bought this can opener, you guys. I haven't used it yet. Let's see. It's difficult. Magnetic. Okay, I made a mess because I don't know how to use it. There was one egg. All right, so we are gonna put this into our stew we have going in there. What you wanna call it? Add the mushroom. Add the quail eggs. Ooh, it's so pretty. I should have really used a pot. We were winging it, y'all. I don't know what I was doing, what I was coming up with. I need Some scallion that I've been growing in my window. So 
So we got the mushroom, the beef, the tomatoes, the quail egg. This looks very delicious, you guys. Okay, so the water is boiling over here. We're gonna go ahead and drop the vermicelli noodles in. So after like 10 minutes, it should be done. The vermicelli, they don't take long. Pat. We're gonna strain it and run over it with cold water. So. This is what the vermicelli will look like. Okay. Real thin rice noodles. Mmm. And our waft beef is right here. My baby quail eggs. Here we have the meat, tomatoes, the quail eggs, the mushroom. So let's make ourselves a bowl. Use a prettier bowl, why don't we? This oil is so ugly. Making my video ugly. <laughs> Gonna take some of the vermicelli. Okay, so I got some of the vermicelli right here. I want some mushroom. Scoop from the bottom. Okay, that's a piece of meat, a piece of mushroom, a couple of eggs. Here's 
Here is our bowl. Let's go eat. Bye. Been dreaming of a black Christmas. And I need my sriracha. Ooh, I wish I had more like vegetables to put in here, like some bean sprout and green onions and stuff. I have some lettuce. Maybe I can put some lettuce in here. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. I can't even see my eyes. I don't know why I'm acting so lazy to go sit down. That was worse. How's that? There we go. Mm. That's yummy. Mm-hmm. Try this meat. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. That's tender. Mmm. The egg is so rich and creamy. Mmm. -hmm. It's turned out a great idea. Got my chili pepper. Mmm. Be tomato. This is good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. This place is my home. Hot. Mmm. <laughs> this is not supposed to be a monk bay. <laughs> Mmm, it was so good. Mmm, especially that beef rib. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. Simon's gonna love this when he's ready to eat. Mmm. My favorite is that fat around the bone. Mmm. All right, guys. Thank you, guys. Mm. For cooking with me. I'm being my quarantine company. Shout out to Darlene. <laughs> Darlene finally got her knife set. She don't have Instagram, but she do follow YouTube, and I think it's so cute. She writes me messages all the time, emails. So shout out to Darlene and the rest of you guys. I love you all so much. Make sure you all go to www.lovelymimi.com. Get you a knife set or get you a pickable t-shirt. Mm. Until then, you got to try this. I had no idea what I was going to make, but it turned out so good. Mm-hmm. Bye, guys. <laughs>